I'm on the outskirts of Toulouse right now, in fact, right next to the picturesque Canal du Midi. In the buildings behind me, they make satellites for the defense industry, for the commercial sector, and for governments. For example, weather, that's how you get to know what the weather's like. You don't often get a chance to see what happens inside these buildings, especially what are called the clean rooms. But we're gonna get a chance. But first of all, I have to get dressed, because here, they definitely don't like dust. Olivier. Good to meet you. Hello, Chris. So, uh, welcome to our uh, satellite uh, final assembly line here in Toulouse. So, as you can see here, we are uh, assembling uh, all type of satellites, basically, and uh, which means we receive parts, big parts, from different sites in Europe, and we assemble the satellite box plus all the appendages. And in front of us, you have uh, two types of appendages. You have the solar array. One is currently being uh, being hauled. And you have also uh, antennas which are, uh, which are used with uh, these uh, big helium balloons for uh, so-called zero-g system, because we have to compensate for gravity when we are on Earth, as if we were in space. I see behind you, you've got solar panels that obviously are extended yeah. to the satellites. Yeah, so I can, I can show you, we can go near if you wish. Okay, great. Let's go. In space, uh, basically, you have uh, two sources of energy. You have, uh, so uh, the, the sun for, uh, for electric, and you have the, the tanks for chemical for propulsion only. But to make the satellite work and deliver its mission, it's all electrical. So you need this big uh, solar array to generate the power during uh, 15 years for telecom satellites. Is Airbus really a, a center of world excellence in this type of production? Yes, uh, at least at two levels. For the solar array, they are built in our factory in Ottobrunn in Germany, and they are all, all delivered to us for uh, telecom satellites. And at satellite level, uh, at the telecom, uh, we are second in the world, I think, and we still have a quarter of the market. So we, we, are, we are really a leading uh, company in that area. So Chris, uh, as I told you, we also work on any type of satellite here. And uh, for example, uh, currently we are working on the Mars rover, ExoMars project, where we prepare for um, a mission on Mars of a rover, which is uh, coming from the UK, is tested in Toulouse, and we go back to the UK to be finally built. And that's kind of remarkable, you're working on the rover spacecraft. Yeah, so it's a, it's a very specific mission, very scientific mission, and uh, yeah, it's, it's very grateful that as well, because you know it will go there. Oh, Chris, before you go, I want to show, something, to show you something special. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Chris, enter. This is the test array I wanted to show you. So we are in a very special uh, test area, which is called the uh, anechoic chamber. And uh, this one is a compact range. So we put the satellite in the middle with uh, all deployed antenna. And uh, with this two mirror and uh, an RF source, we generate uh, what we call planar wave. So that the satellite receive emission and do ray emission as if it was in orbit, which is very far away, 36,000 km altitude. So when you are there, the, the wave you receive are planar. Well, Olivier, I know our viewers will be fascinated by what you've shown us here today. So thank you so much for your time. You're welcome, Chris. You come back whenever you want, or maybe we can go to a launch next time together. I'll take you up on that. Thank okay. you. Let's go.